now we're gonna get this one underway. It is gonna be the Wendy and Luigi to begin things off. Strive spinning back to the microphone in just a moment, but here we go. Game one starting on PS2. So you have to pay for water now. Ah, uh, I don't want to. You have to pay for parking, you have to pay for water. Man, 2DG venue is actually the best. Free water. That's, that's like the only, that's like, that should be the one thing that makes people show up too. That yeah, is the best perk. <laughs> oh, Jabba? Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess it, it doesn't matter. It won't kill at 29. But he probably couldn't got, he could have gotten like a jab block to grab combo though. Anyway, let's see what happens here. I want to see what Tater can do differently with uh, Wendy in this game against Luigi. Yeah, some of the clowns are you might be fairly key. Luigi doesn't have necessarily the greatest horizontal game. A lot of his combo tools are terrible at best. So, what can he get started going across the stage, not up and down? Okay. Oh my. You can't punish it though. <laughs> I'm so silly. He got stuck in the stage with the Mega in his head, but there's a jab. That's something that he didn't have in the previous game. A jab that was functioning and could kill. That's definitely gonna help him out right here versus Luigi. So good stuff. Tainer is still in that first game. Or sorry, first dock. If you want to even call it a steal, like, he just played really well. Yeah, Tater playing really solid to begin this one, using his out of shield option as well. That can do, but does not interrupt that up throw. I, yeah, that was, that was odd. I couldn't tell. I, maybe his throw had like armor to get through the explosion there, but either way, that was that was clean. I feel like that up B from the down throw is even easier to connect on a big character like uh, Windy. I feel like uh, I feel like Tater was just relying on the back to save him there. Yeah. And he just didn't like try to DI, right? He's hot sleeping. Can't ever sleep on Elegant. So many ways of combo and punch. Nice up smash on the shield though. That's gonna be really good because it can cover the Nair cross ups as well. Yeah, it's frame six. Luigi's of course Luigi, Luigi's fastest out of shield option is Nair at frame six as well, so you'll be training at best if you have it properly stayed. Oh, Elegant <laughs> got caught slipping trying to catch the Mega Green, but too slow. Oh, nice offstage play, dude. Cyclone still not enough. We need relatively heavy, I would say. Oh, he's so lucky that Elf Smash didn't connect. But there's a Cyclone in its ability. Going through the forward area. Not going to die even if he's in the other corner, but that's a good trade for Elegant. Elegant securing that stock with the back air. You'll accept that percent any day of the week. It's going to be a big kill. Oh, so, so close to getting hit by that Elf Smash. Wow, nice parry. Oh. Lots of tag. That'll lead to another grab start. Man, so many people like DI Elegant's combos now, especially with uh, Rage. But there's the F Smash. It's so good. It's scooping people off the ground as well. Not even just as like catching them when they're jumping above you, but just if you see them press something unsafe like, right in front of you, it's a Still, though, kind of rough right now. Elegant really close to securing the last stock in game one. Terror Shot just makes up his recovery as much as possible. Nice, but he still gets grabbed. Ooh. Cyclone's not gonna kill. Wow, he's heavier than I thought. Yeah, still living with a proper DI there, but I have to imagine that another dash attack, another throw combo, perhaps even a back throw at this percent, if he's close enough to the ledge, might be enough to kill. Back throw certainly will do it. And Elgin's starting to like, get a read on the side beat as well. Ooh, that caught me. Oh. Still living after that uh, Cyclone, but up to 186. Oh, man. There it is, that uh, Zare from the grab, still working as I thought on the up beam. He didn't let him back. Oh, he just chopped him. That was such a funny cinematic in me. I've never seen that before. Uh, that, was, that was a really hard fought edge guard from Elliot, actually. He was on stage for almost like 15 seconds. Yeah, that was really an extended interaction. Tater fought to the nail to make it back, but he got started at, I think, about 150 and ended up at 250. Wait, hold up. Oh, okay. No, no. No Game & Watch here. I wonder if people have gotten inspired by how Meister has been dominating with Game & Watch to start picking him up. He's such a weird character. It's like, it seems odd that people are treat like, that, it seems odd to think that people will treat him as like a pocket character that we use, even though he's really good. But anyway, Game & Watch is not important. Don't right now. Okay, actually, this is putting a full hop there and able to get, easier to get the combo started. Yeah, a uh, rare drop. No, you know. Oh, yeah, Ubi wouldn't kill you today. That was, that was such a bad time for Ubi. Probably not, especially with the grounded hitbox. You're going to be hitting 
heart, it's less knockback than him. Yep. Oh, he tried to get that guard. Okay, it doesn't cost him. I'm surprised Elgin didn't try to challenge it up at all. Ooh, Nara B. Man, it's so good for Luigi in this game. So like B reversing the super jump punch as well to do it in the opposite direction and him up in the eye. Yeah, Elgin just knows so much about this character. There's very few other Luigi's too that I see play this level. I wonder if he could have parry up smash that instead of up to it. Certainly possible. Waits out that much smash out of shield. Can't look at another right. combo started. I love the reverse up bears from down throw. It looks so cool and it gets a lot of No up this time. Should be a free punish. Or not. That's rough. Now he might just get lapped with two whole stocks behind by Elgin. Let's see if Terry can make something happen. Tech chase here? Oh, that was so smart. Walked him all the way to the edge of the corner, saw it, the hit coming in. He got stuck on the stage again. <laughs> like, I've never seen that twice in one set, actually. It's kind of silly. I mean, it's certainly funny, but if you're going to go for it, you know, might as well think a moment where Tater's certainly unable to punish him instead of the black hole. I know, right? He, that was actually completely safe to so just get stuck on the stage. No invincibility here. Nice. Not going to get punished. Free grab. Get another nice. I like, I like this. Oh, what an extension there. So much for sin 74 and as it oh he brought it back to Smash 4. What the heck? <laughs> he just sacrificed him with the uh, cyclone. Rough, rough three stock. Dang. I mean we didn't even get a kill clean. screen there. That was just brutal from the very end. Tater had no way of recovering there and elegant taking this 